it's a deteriorating picture, actually. And it's one of the, the devils in the detail. The manufacturing PMI held up, as, as you say, but dig down into the, the sub indices of that. And it's, it's a bit of a darker picture, notably output growth, which is just one of the PMI's components, has, has deteriorated quite markedly. In fact, output's now falling in France and is, is near stalling in, in Germany. Uh, and that weakness is almost entirely due to supply shortages, which are worsening. So it's not just that they're still there, they're actually getting worse. And that's led to this unprecedented further spike in, in prices. And that's cooling demand. So production is being constrained by shortages and these high prices are, are deterring spending. And that's filtering through a bit to services. Now, as you pointed out, the indices, the main, the headline index, which is the, perhaps the best proxy for, for GDP growth, it remains above, above its long-term average. So it's consistent with GDP growth of about 0.5% quarter on quarter, but that's down from very strong growth in the second and third quarter. So it's cooling and it looks like we could have further to, to fall as well in terms of that growth rate, not a decline, but just an easing, especially if you get further concerns about COVID. Mm. Well, Chris, I think the question for investors is whether we have seen peak bottleneck when it comes to these supply chain challenges. And it, listening to you, it sounds as though we haven't hit peak bottleneck yet. If the pressures are worsening and um, will continue to worsen, according to the, the current indicators. Um, but when might we see peak bottleneck? Is it in on the near term horizon or does it sound like things are going to worsen for months to come? Indeed, we're, we're, it's not peaked yet uh, in, in the Eurozone anyway. And it's going to be very interesting to see the other PMI data, notably uh, for, for, for Asia, that'll come out next week, that we can hopefully get an image of just where those um, production facilities in, in Asia are being constrained or not by the Delta wave. So we saw last month some signs that factory activity was picking up again there. Uh, obviously, there's a there's a, a lag in that feeding through into Europe and, and, and in in terms of lead times. But hopefully, we'll see those other Asian PMI numbers start to pick up when those final PMIs come out, and that will be the signal really that you're going to get some better supply coming through into Europe. But at the moment, as of October, the situation is still getting worse.